So the first film was wildly successful, as we all know. What was that like for you when, when that movie came out and it was so popular with people? I mean, it was really exciting because it was really one of the first animated things I've ever done. And um, just getting to see the movie come together like for the first time when I got to see all the characters and then my character and my voice coming out of someone that wasn't me. Um, I don't know, it was really exciting. Cool. Um, tell me where Margot is in the beginning of this film. She's really grown up a lot. She's texting now. She's sort of having some little boy um, attractions. Tell yeah, me it's fun getting to play Margot a little bit older in this movie because they're more of a family now. So she's not as worried about her sisters and she has her first crush. And I love the animation, like the way Antonio looks and how he like flips his hair and he's just so suave and she, she can't help but fall for him. Yeah, that's a really, really cute scene in the mall where she's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> she's blown away. Um, tell me about Gru as a dad. It seems like he's a lot of fun as a dad. I think Gru's an awesome dad. I think one of the coolest things about this movie and the first one is you really get to see him transform. Like in the first movie, he's so despicable in the beginning and evil, and then he really turns into a great dad. So um, in the beginning of this one, you can really see how much he's changed in Despicable Me Too and how much he's just focusing on being a, a really good dad. I love when he um, becomes Gru Zinkerbell. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me about that scene and, and you know sort of what that shows about Gru as, as a dad? Yeah, in the beginning of Despicable Me Too, he... Um, He's Gru Zinkerbell, which last minute the um, like fairy princess that's going to come to uh, the big birthday party can't make it. So he doesn't want to let um, all the little kids down. So he dresses up and he's probably one of the most hideous um, like fairies I've ever seen. But it's really sweet and I think it definitely shows how much he cares. And how it just shows how he'd do anything for her. Um, now you've done two movies with Steve Carell and you've gotten to spend a lot of time with him. What's that experience been like for you? It's awesome getting to work with Steve um, because even though we all record individually, I have have gotten to know him pretty well from the first movie, Publicity, and now I'm hanging out with him during this one. And I know he has two kids that are like really excited to see the movie, so um, it's just been really fun hanging out with him and getting to know him more. He's like super funny. Was he a good guide to you in, in, in this? movie in this movie like how to bring life to your character or anything was well I think he'd be a good guide for anybody for animation because the voice he does for Gru is so different from his actual voice like he's really putting on like a different character so um and when we were in Australia and we saw the movie for the first time like all the kids were asking him to do the Gru voice so he said like his son like constantly makes him do it like he's like could you just like be Gru for a little while <laughs> His son's like, you'd be more fun as a dad as Gru. <laughs> um, so I saw the movie last night in a packed theater. It was full of like men and women and children, and they were all laughing and loving it. How does it feel to you? Is it exciting that you know this second one is, I think, more energy, more fun, more action than the first one? Yeah, I mean, I think they're both like they're pretty different. Like this one, I feel like there's a lot of romance in it, and it's more about love, like. Gru's falling in love for the first time, and my character Margot has a love interest. And um, I think some of my favorite parts in the entire movie were seeing Gru's softer side when he's really falling for Kristen Wiig's character Lucy. Um, I don't know, just something about like them together. I thought they had a lot of chemistry, and they're really cute together. What are you most excited for audiences to see on the screen this time around? I'm really excited for audiences to see the minions singing. Um, I think those were also those were some of my favorite parts. Like at the very end, the big song the minions sing. That was super funny. And um, other than that, probably just like all the romantic stuff in the movie. And um, there are just like some unexpected new characters. El Macho, the villain. Even though he's evil, he he was fun to watch. And tell tell me about Eduardo because he's was really fun to watch. He's so lovable and open, and he loves to dance, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Um, it was fun, like, getting to try to remember the first time I really liked a guy and, like, not even being able to talk because you just like the person so much. And um, I think just all those scenes were funny. Like, with the um, guacamole hat, I want one of those. <laughs> I feel like anybody could get through a breakup if they had a guacamole hat. <laughs>